Lovely. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do is just do some lovely deep breaths just to get us ready for some exercise. We're going to put our hands on our ribs. Okay. And as we breathe in, the ribs should come up and the hands will start to move open. And then as you breathe out, they should come down and the hands will cross. So as you open, take in the air and breathe out. Okay, so really feel that chest opening and lifting with air and then down and again. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And one more. Good to get some oxygen into the body. And out, lovely. And we're just going to start with a little shoulder roll on one side. Going backwards. Good. You might hear lots of noise in the shoulder, but it's just because it's really close to the ear and there's lots of moving parts in your shoulders. Change side. We sound a bit crunchy and grindy, don't they? Shoulders. Good. Lovely. We're going to take that little bit bigger. We're going to go nice big circles. You can have a little glance back so the actual shoulder moves. Sides move slightly. Reaching back and round. Good. And then we're going to change to the other side. Here we go. Reach in and a little glance back. Good. As big a circle as you can. Lovely. We're going to put both arms together but bring them forward. So we're doing like a a butterfly swim so it's a little bit harder isn't it those arms don't like to go back and round but we're opening up the chest there and forward good and again one more time lovely so we're just going to drop the ear to the shoulder just tilt trying to keep the shoulders nice and level just drop okay if you want you can just put the weight of your hand onto your neck don't push just literally rest the hand on the neck, then come back up and go the other side. Keep your shoulders down, ear goes down to the shoulder. Once you're there, comfortable, and you should feel a lovely stretch. Now, if you're feeling stressed, or you might have fallen asleep in front of the telly and got a bit of stiff neck, that's a really good one to do. So, chin to chest. Feel that stretch all the way down the neck into the upper back, and then looking up to the shoulder, up to the ceiling. Okay, then looking down to the floor one more time. And looking up to the ceiling. Good. Okay. All right, so one thing we're going to do, we're going to just take a little bit of a wider stance. And we're going to, as if we're pushing our wall down next to us, you're going to push away. And then you're going to lean out and push away with the other arm. That's it. So a little lean of the body. Push. Good. And another little lean. Push. And we're just going to keep pushing those walls from one side to the other. So really stretch in, reach, and push that wall away. Good. Last time. Good. Well done. If you grab your ball, okay, we're going to use the ball for the warm-up today. If you haven't got a ball, don't worry, you can just tap the hand. We're just going to pass the ball in front of us then open the chest pass the ball and open really simple move but we really want to push those shoulder arms back so the shoulder blades really work the back and we really want to stretch in here as well good lovely one more good then we're going to take it over the top so we're going to go up and down up Good, lovely. So again, if you haven't got a ball, don't worry. You can just sort of clap your hand. Good. Just gives us a focus point. Nice. And I'm going to show you this one sideways. It is our leaning forward, so rounding the back and then standing tall. So you're rounding the back all the way down and then rounding the other way. So rounding all the way down to the bottom of your spine and then opening again really good the back mobility good one last time open chest and forward 
lovely. We'll rest those arms for a minute because they get a little bit sore, don't they? So we're going to pop the ball between your knees. Again, don't worry, just stand lovely and tall if you haven't got a ball. If you have, just squeeze the ball just above the knees so that you're not on the knees. Okay, then we're going to go into our sort of Cossack position and we're just going to turn the body one side and back to the middle. Then we're going to turn the body the other way. You may not go very far. So you feel that pressure against the ball and try and keep your hips facing me. Okay, so if you're going a long way, you might just want to check your hips aren't moving too much. Your hips should still face the front. Looking good, lovely and steady pace. Good, one more, each side. Last one. Good. Okay, bring the arms down, give them a little shake. So we're going to keep the ball there to keep that pressure. Pressure in between works the inside of the legs, but it also helps you engage that core just here. Okay, so we're going to lift one arm up and reach really tall. One arm's going to go down, and then we add a little side bend. Then back up again, and we change. One goes up, one goes down, so you're as long between the fingers as possible. Then you're doing bend, back up. So we're going to keep going. Here we go. So reach, reach, and down. So you should feel your ribs lifting away from your waist, so you're standing as tall as you can. Really lengthen the body. Good. Tall. You're going to squeeze the ball, squeeze your bottom, and that's going to make your tummy work. Last one each side. There we go, other side. And down, and a little bend. Good. Okay, release that ball in case you've had that pressure. Oh, it goes nice and loose when you take it away. Good. So, being very careful here, anybody um, with any knee problems, all right, I just want you to keep these very narrow. But we're going to go round the clock. So we're going to do 12 o'clock, 10 past, quarter past, 25 past, half past, and round. Okay. And we're just going to take a step. So you're just taking the weight forward on one leg, to the side, and then out. And we'll work our way round. Okay. So we're not going into a deep lunge. We're just taking the weight forward and coming back. Try and keep the chest upright. Okay? Are we ready to go around the clock? Here we go. So, forward with the top. And with my right leg, I'm going to go out to 10 pass. Then I'm going to go to quarter pass. Then I'm going to go 25 pass. Then I'm going to step directly behind me. And then I'm going to change legs. So I'm going to go on my left leg. And it goes back. Then we're going to go 25 two. Quarter two. Ten two. Hopefully you've got enough room to go all the way around. Okay, now you've done it once and you know what you do. Here we go again. So right leg forward, taking that weight. Ten pass, quarter pass. Good. You've got to do it together if you're in two. Here we go. Back. And then the other leg. So we go behind. 25 two. Taking the weight out. So weight goes out. And back. Little push with those legs. Good. And forward. Good. Okay. Well done. Don't know why my comment keeps coming up on my screen. Apologies. Okay. So that's our little round the clock lunges. Okay. So our next one we're going to do, you might want to bring in the chair. Okay. You might want to have it there. It's going to be a little bit of a balance. We're going to lift our knee as high as you can. Then you're going to take the leg out the back. I'll show you from the front. It's going to look like a knee lift. Same leg. And we lean forward and it goes out behind us. Then we're going to stay on that leg. Knee lift. And then we're going to lean forward. The leg's going to balance. So entirely up to you. If you want that chair there, you're going to lift. And you're going to take it out the back. Always lean the body forward. Have the chair there for a little bit of thought. Even just one finger. There you go. Good, we're going to do it one more this side. Knee lift, staying lovely and tall in the body. And then you're going to stretch yourself out. Good, well done everybody. So I'm just going to whiz my chair around so I can show you. I'm going to change leg, okay. 
I'm going to do the same again. So, little balance lifting that knee, bringing it up, really lovely and tall. Okay, and then leaning forward, taking the leg out the back. Good. Good Superman position. Here we go. Knee lift. Are you ready to take off? Three. Good. And as time goes on, you can have less contact with the chair, and then maybe you can go all the way. But take your time. If you're a little bit wobbly, stay as you are. Are you ready out the back? And we're going to do that one more this time. This is really good. Balancing. A little bit of touch of the chair if you need. Good. Okay. Now, one reason why we do balance is so that all the muscles and the joints and the messages all have to work together. And when you stand on one leg, your knee stability, your ankle stability, your hip, your body, everything has to really work, okay? So it's a really good chance for you to sort of build that stability in the body, all right? If you don't challenge the body like that, then, then it won't work when you need it to, okay? So it's just tense while you then get a bit wobbly and fall. So that was really good, well done. Okay, so we're going to do a little lift to the side, and then we're going to step out to the side and go into a squat. Okay, now if you see, I've still got the chair there. If, I, if you want the chair for that lift, then you're going to take the leg out, and you're going to sit down as if you're sitting on that chair. Yeah, bring your hands up just for balance. So we're going to go lift, down, step out. We're just sitting back, trying to keep the chest up. Remember that beanbag on your head. A little lift. And then we take a step out, nice and wide. Sit in my back. Nice and deep. You can get nice and deep with your hips if you can. Good. I'm going to swap my chair around. There we go. So we're going to go the other way. So when we do the hip lift, just make sure you're sort of not moving the body. So it's just the hip that lifts inside. Can you see? The rest of your body stays still. Just lift and then step out. Nice and deep as you can. Don't forget the chair's there if you need a hand to get back up. All right, here we go. Little lift. Good. Step out. And down we go. Good. Right, this time I'm going to suggest you really squeeze your bottom as you come back up. So let's go out into this squat. We're going to go down and then I want you to really squeeze the bottom as it comes up. Good. Really engage those glutes. Little side lift. One more. Down we go. Making those legs work. Squeeze. Coming back up. Brilliant. Well done. Okay, so we're not going to do too many. Okay. But if you do this video when I send you the link, you can do this again another day. Okay, or at the weekend or something. And then you can just do little and often. That's the best way to do things. Okay. So we're going to do our roll down, all right? Which is our chin to our chest. Shoulders come forward, round in the back. As you reach down, if anybody gets dizzy, then you can do this to the chair. Okay? You can have the chair there. Okay? But if not, you can go all the way down. Just hang your arms, hang your legs. Uh, hang your arms, hang your head. Okay. Then I want you to pull your tummy in the bottom as you roll back up. Each vertebra slowly stacking, back up, stack, stack, stack. And when you get to the top, I want you to just reach up and a little lean back. Lovely and tall. We're going to go again, everybody. So, chin to chest, shoulders forward, slowly leaning down. Again, if you need the chair for support, you can do. Roll all the way down, let the head hang, arms hang. This time you can bend your right leg, bend your left leg, just bend them alternately. Give your body a nice little wiggle. And you'll feel a little stretch in the back of the leg. Squeeze the bottom, pull in the tummy and roll back out one more time. And reaching up. Good, and a little lean back if you're okay. If your back's okay, lovely and tall, good. Now this time we're gonna come down to our hands on our thighs. And we're going to round our back nice and high like an angry cat. Pull in the tummy in. Then we're going to drop the chest down and flat in the back. You might feel that little stretch in the back of your legs. If you want to do that, it's just on the chair. You can do so it's rounding your back. 
and then flattening, pushing the chest and tummy down, taking the old bottom out, give it a wiggle, and then rounding back up one more time. Good. And then slowly coming back up. So we should, we've worked all the way up and down the body. Oh, I tell you what we haven't done. We're just doing little pedals with our feet, which just looks like this. Just going up onto the toes, pushing the balls of the feet down and rolling the feet down to the heels. So try and open the toes out. That's it. If you've not got shoes on, that's brilliant time to just stretch those feet out and get everything working. And the toes to the heels. And a little move of the ankle as well is good. Lovely. Okay. So we should be all nice and warm there. Cool. We're going to pick up our band. All right. Now this can be done with weight um, or a band, but you know, as most of us have got the band, we're going to stick to the band. We're going to take it in our right hand, okay. And it's got such my foot. <laughs> you want most of it up here, all right? So the first move we're going to do, I'll show you sideways, is just literally bending the arm towards. So the elbow stays in beside you and you're just going to lift the front of the hand and bend the arm up towards your face. So we're working the front of the arm here, the bicep right off there. Up, give it a nice pull. So get the band right length for you. So if it's not tough enough, hold it shorter. If it's a bit too tough, then let it go and make it a little bit looser. Okay, and you can see how my elbow is nicely into my side. That's looking good, guys. Nice. One more. Oh, I'll get those legs up soon. Okay. So the next one we're going to do. I want you to put your knuckles on top, so you're holding your band this way up, okay? And I want you to keep your shoulder down, and we're just going to raise it up in front of us. It doesn't really need to go much higher than shoulder height, so it's just here. <laughs> and the whole of the body can stay nice and strong as you lift. And again, just readjust your band to make it nice and strong for you. You don't have to have a straight arm, it can be bent. It's the shoulder that we're working. Okay, one more. Really good. Well done, guys. Lovely. Really good to keep your strength in the shoulders and the arms. So, next one, out to the side. Knuckles up again. Okay, arm doesn't need to be straight. And we're going to lift up the shoulder height. Here we go. Just lifting. Now, you do need to just keep the shoulders nice and level. And stay nice and strong in the body. The more you think about here, the stronger you'll feel. And you'll start to realise how important the core is. Lovely. One more on this arm. And we give it a rest. Okay, well done. So change over to the other side. I've got sticky feet today. <laughs> okay, first move was elbow in. Hand facing up. And we're just going to lift that hand up towards the shoulder. It looks like this from the side. Really nice posture, shoulders nice and back. Good. So if you have a weight, you can do this exactly the same with a weight. Okay, I know Carol will show me her weight in a minute ago. And squeeze one more time. Good. Okay, you might want to just readjust the length of your band. Okay, because we're not as strong when we take things away from the body. That bicep was quite strong in that move. Okay, but when we go out here, our body's got to work a bit harder. So knuckles up, and we're going to lift to the front. Okay, think about keeping that shoulder down, so we don't want to pull from here. Get the shoulder up, we want to stay nice and long. Oh, looking very good, everyone. So this is a nice little strength session here for our arms. And one last one. Good, okay, so that's working the shoulder. We're going to now take it out to the side. Just work the different parts of the shoulder. I've got a bit of a shoulder injury here, so I can feel that my shoulder's going to come up. I'm going to have to work a little bit harder with mine today. To not let that shoulder come up. Good, okay. So again, if it's too tough for you, just make your band a little bit longer and it'll be easier. And believe it or not, you could, if you had any problems, just literally do it with just the arm as well. Okay, last one. Good, fabulous. Okay, so what else have we got? Okay, we have got 
a little move out the back. So I'm going to show you this one. You're going to rest your band on top of your hand, yeah? Okay, and then grip your band. Probably about hip width, okay? And what I want you to do is, from here, you can take a stance where you've got one leg forward and one leg back, lovely. Okay, and you're going to touch your bottom and then straighten your arm. Touch your bottom, straighten your arm. And if you can see, my shoulder to my elbow doesn't really move, does it? It's just my elbow to my hand. This work in the back of the arm, but it also opens your chest as well. So just touching the bottom and straightening. That's brilliant, Marilyn. I can see yours perfectly. Some people I can't quite see, but that is really good. Just straighten. And you can soon feel that in those bingo wings, back of the arm. <laughs> okay. One last one. There we go. And just rest those arms. Can you feel it across the chest as well? Because taking those arms right back, it's really opening across here and we get very tight here and we start to round. It's a really good one for getting you back and working the back of the arms, okay? One last one with the band and then we'll have a lovely stretch, okay? So we're going to add a little squat to this one. We've done it before. So we're going to go down into a squat and lift the band. And then as you stand up, I want you to take it all the way up and over your head and behind you. Now, if you find you're having to bend your arms to do that, just take the band a little bit wider and you should find you can do it. So if there's any bending, I can see a couple, <laughs> just take it lovely and wide to start with until your shoulders, but really good for shoulder mobility, which is really important for our posture. That better, guys, yes. And you can feel that your band might stretch at the top and then it comes in again. And then it might stretch and comes in. Really good. That's fabulous. Really good one to... So if there was anybody who was a little bit like this, it could be that you really could do with doing this on a regular basis. Just pick your band up and do a few of these. Just to keep that shoulder mobility going. Last one. We forgot the squat, didn't we? I had a squat. <laughs> we were supposed to be adding a squat. I was too busy watching you all. One more time, let's add that squat again. Lovely. There we go. Oh. My arms are feeling lovely and warm now. So we've worked those well. Well done. Okay, pop your band and your ball away. Okay, so we've done a little bit of balancing just to test either side of the knee and the stability of the ankle and the hips and things. And then we've done a nice warm up on the arms there, a little bit of work. So we're going to go into our stretches. Now, we can all put our hands onto our chair if you've got the chair in front of you. Okay, so we're going to go into that cat position. If you haven't got a chair, you can use your, your legs, all right? So we're going to really raise the back arm all the way from the lower spine, all the way up through the body, up through into the upper back, okay? So we're rounding it off, and then we're pushing that tummy down. You can bring your head up, look at the chair, and then we're going to go one more time, really round, pulling the tummy in. And if you're rolling every piece of the spine. Okay, now this time, okay, you can do this against the wall if you haven't got a chair. I might you see if you can drop your head down between your shoulders. It's a lovely shoulder stretch. This could be done against the wall, so you can literally push against the wall and drop the head down. You can do it against kitchen work surfaces. It's another good place. So while the kettle's boiling, as long as you don't get dizzy with your head down, you can have a lovely shoulder stretch and a back stretch. And coming back up. Super. Okay. We're just going to go up onto our toes when the blood's come back to our head, probably. We're going to just go up onto our toes, use the chair for support. We're just going to, again, make sure we go lovely and tall. We don't really go forward. Try not to go forward onto the chair. Really just make sure yourself go up and tall. Just working those calves and those ankles. We don't really wear high shoes anymore, do we? We're not going out for parties and meals, but as if you've got your high heels on. Sorry, Neil, you don't wear high heels. There we go, so that's up onto our toes. Lovely little calf raise. And then we're going to go into a calf stretch. So it's that position where you have the front leg bent, back leg straight. Both feet pointing towards the chair, and just push that heel. If you want to lean into the chair, as long as the chair's not going to 
suddenly move, you can get some pressure pushing down at that heel at the back. We really should feel it in that lower back of the leg. Really good to stretch the back of the legs. And then we're going to come back and change legs, bend the front one, straighten the back, lean into the chair. Again, this could be done in the work surfaces in the kitchen while you're just waiting for the seat to cook. Really good time to just, you sit there sometimes, you've got five minutes, and you can have a little stretch. Brilliant. So that's stretching the back of the leg there, lower leg, calf. Super, I'm going to turn my chair around. Now, if your chair is not going to slide, if you feel safe doing so, see if you can just lift your foot up onto the chair. If that's not, maybe you can just pop your knee onto the chair and then you can still have hold of the, of the handle. That's up to you, okay? But we're just going to stretch inside the legs here, okay? We're just stretching. So we stretch the back of the leg and that one there. You may have your foot. If you bend, you may have your knee, and you can just take that leg back. Alright. Cool. And then we're going to change leg. So I'm going to put one foot up onto the chair, and lean into it if I can without the chair moving. And you stretch the back of the leg here. Good. And you're managing that okay. Well done. Well done. Good. You can have a little seat on the chair. Alright, I'm going to pop my, I'm going to have a little seat, move to where you can see me, stretching, sitting right on the edge of the seat, okay, stretching the leg out, alright, and then remember we don't collapse, if anybody hasn't got a chair you can literally do this standing as well, alright, so very similar, so you can imagine standing, you're just going to lean forward and you should feel that stretch in the back of the leg, if you're sitting, not much different. Okay, we're just going to lean forward, lean the chest forward and then the back of the leg should be really stretch. So whether you're sitting or standing, if you rest the chest forward, try not to collapse, okay? That's more to do with stretching your back, just lean the chest forward. And then change over to the other side. If you want to rest your hand, always rest it on the bent knee, not the straight one, okay? And then we're just going to lift the chest, lean forward, and stretch the hamstring at the back of the leg. Super. Good, lovely stretch. So that gets very short as you're sitting, because you look, you can see this muscle here, when we're sitting, is very short, doesn't get stretched very much, so it's really good to give that stretch. We have one where we're going to just cross our legs. Okay, we're going to cross our legs that in our chair but we're going to hug that leg if we can as long as your knees and your hips will let you okay so you're going to sit lovely and tall and you're going to hug that knee right in and you should feel turn my stuff should feel that stretch down into the glute okay so we've done some squatting and lunging today that's another easy one that you can do that back in the chair we're going to change legs so crossing the leg that might be enough, you might feel that. If not, lift the knee and give it a lovely hug and sit up nice and tall. Lovely, I can feel that one. It's a very tight, tight glute. Okay, so we're just going to do a lovely little stretch. We're going to really reach up lovely and high. Good, good, good. And then we're going to Take our hands all the way down, leaning forward over our feet, touching the floor, and then coming back up to sitting lovely and tall again. And that's really working the whole of your back, so you can imagine it's rolling forward, isn't it? Bending forward, take it steady. And then you're going to reach up lovely and tall, using your tummy to sit up again. One more time, down we go. And sitting back up. Good. Lovely. And we're going to finish with our breathing. So pop the chair to one side. It's really good to exercise rather than we stay in a very sort of narrow forward motion all the time, walking, sitting. You don't often step wide. We 
don't often reach high. Um, we don't often do any of these types of movements, so it's really good to just extend your movement, twisting, turning. When we're going out here, we're testing stability. Okay, so that the day you did need to suddenly go sideways for some reason, avoiding something, then your body's going to be able to cope with it. So, fabulous. Okay. Right, ready to finish. So we're going to take some lovely deep breaths. We're just going to do a little dip. It's called washing the body, so you're going to come up as if you're washing your body in a swimming pool with lots of water and now then we're going to breathe in and then out take your time so it's in as you go down a little dip with the legs and out one more time guys here we go lovely deep breath really reach up high and out Oh, get a roll of those shoulders. Well done. Fabulous.